Hello, Scorpio gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses, mm -hmm. I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your palisantos, santos, okay, I heard that. <laughs> Whatever it takes to vibe with the energy, Scorpio. All right, to those that donate to this channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are appreciated every time you donate, your name goes into a drawing. For a chance to win a personal reading with me, I do those twice a month, guys. All right. Everything else you need to know will be in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of the members only community. Catch me on a live or when I'm running a session. All right. Somebody is very disconnected here. Um, this is somebody who feel the way they feel, and that's just their reality. Um, this person is very broken inside, okay? That's why you were attracted to them. Somebody is still mirroring this energy is what I feel. This person keeps coming, coming back and forth, back and forth. It feels like... Let's see. What's the energy? This person deals with um, bouts of depression, PTSD. This person could have served in Af Afghanistan, I just heard. Um, this person left a part of them over there. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they made a baby over there or they fell in love over there. But it feels like whoever you're dealing with, they left their heart somewhere else. They're, they're totally committed somewhere else this just could be a long distance connection too i'm picking up on the overall energy on the bottom of the deck says i'm indulging in self-sabotaging addictions to avoid thinking of you yeah see i feel like this person and scorpio you may be this person that they're thinking of that they left behind that they this person you know it's like they're trying to get you off their mind because they know it's like they know there's no re way for them to reach you again or they're never going to Afghanistan again or something like that is what I'm getting here. It says a lot of my problems are caused by abandonment issues. Yeah, see, that's this this person is dealing with that, too. It's like now they feel like they've done to you their worst nightmare. OK, they 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 abandon you, but it really was an abandonment in the sense that their, their tour was over or whatever this is, they had to go back. They could marry whoever this person is because I feel like they were already married or committed elsewhere. Yeah, I'm picking up heavy on like a um, love child here. This was a brief connection. It says, I suffer from self-esteem issues and do not want people to judge me. Yeah, I feel like this person went in, in the army because they're like social, sociably awkward. They need structure. They need discipline. They need somebody telling them what to do at all times type energy. It says, there is so much fear inside me that I feel trapped. Yeah. This, this person is... This person is suffering from quite a few things. I'm getting PTSD. I'm also getting like, um, this person is really missing you, Scorpio. I feel like you're at a distance, though. I don't know if this is, you know, country to country, state to state, or what this is. But I know it's long distance. I know something is keeping you guys apart. It's, and it's just the distance, 444, four, four, but it's like passports involved. Like, it's, a, it's something, I don't know. Something is an obstacle to this connection. It says, I feel insecure and can't function. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, this person, 
The military is good for them because they have structure. They Somebody's always telling them what to do. They don't have to think about shit. It says, I have a lot of heart chakra wounds that need healing before I can open myself up again. Yeah. Um. This is some type of long distance love or long lost lover, Scorpio. This person is finding themselves thinking about you a lot, thinking about themselves. This person is going inward. That's what's going on. And this person can't go inward without think without thoughts of you. And that's I feel like that's a, a big reason why this person has avoided healing so long. They never want to face what they actually did to you, how they actually hurt you here. Um, because of abandonment, because of lying about being married. <clears throat> Let's see. This is this is a case of somebody like being trapped in a in a connection with somebody they're not in love with. It's more about principle, it's more about appearances, my family, they family. It's like a lot of people invested in this connection. I feel like um but this is somebody that this person is not able to connect with it all. They're not able to be their authentic self around this person who they're married to. I feel like they don't know each other intimately. This person feels like they they met you and they, they really met you and they feel like they abandoned you. After they got, got gained access, they feel some type of way about gaining access and then not being there with you now. They chose the marriage. They cho chose to return back to... Um, what's no longer serving them. Familiarity is what I'm getting. Okay, let's clarify. A lot of my problems are caused by abandonment issues. Give me more information on this person. This person is afraid to be alone. You're yeah, shock. I feel like, too, this person didn't set out to meet you. They didn't set out to cheat on their wife or their husband or whatever this is. I just felt like y'all were in was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's like energy here. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany transformation. You transform this person's love language. You transform this person's ability to um you know play the play the game with this marriage. You've You've made this person actually feel something different. This person didn't know that you could truly be connected to somebody or have a connection where you never want to abandon it. You never want to um, put it in harm's way, so to speak. This is the energy this person is feeling for, for you that they don't even feel for the wife that they're with, their baby mother or whoever this is. And it's very shocking to this person because I feel like they've been in this marriage a long time to the point where they're just comfortable. Yeah, the snake. <laughs> it's like competition and enemy, the other woman looking over your shoulder. <clears throat> yeah, it's like this they can't they can't shake you. They can't shake this third party situation, this other woman. I feel like you're the only other woman, but you didn't know you were. Like this person, they charmed you. That's what I'm getting with the snake. They they literally charmed you at your draws. <laughs> and that's what I heard, Scorpio. And it was shockingly awful. I just heard I just heard shock and awe. <laughs> like, yeah, we're pulling addiction. This person, this person is this person got a sweet tooth for you now, Scorpio. This person is very agitated. This person is, is going through bouts of depression, plus a lot of mood swings. I feel like they're really showing the, their spouse that they're really not into them, or they're having a lot of arguments. Feels like this person wants to move on now. Okay, they want to go and do the work. It says, I suffer from self-esteem issues and do not want people to judge me. Hey, 
heavy on distance, long distance connection. The Paradise card is here. You could have met this person on vacation. You could have met this person while they were in the army somewhere. But I feel like this is far away lands. Like I keep getting that energy of us meeting people while we're vacationing or while we're in a place where we wouldn't have normally been last year or some shit like that. Um, I also get the energy like you're paradise to this person. This person didn't realize it was a such thing as, as a connection like this. This person has been, you know, suffering with self-esteem issues and, you know, this person has just been doing the status quo, what their family said they, they should do. They're keeping up appearances is what's going on here. Um, yeah, the coffin. But now it's like since this person had an encounter with you, Scorpio, it's like they'd rather be dead than be caught in this, be stuck in this connection with this wife when they really they realize they're really not living the full capacity of life they realize it's more to life than just death okay living and dying you're pulling a talking card interested awaiting messages text calls talking more i feel like this energy never happened this feels like you and this person disconnected because of the fact that they were married they had to go back to their life but now this person is, is looking at their life like they no longer want to live like this. They want to live passionately. They want to live. They don't want to have drug addictions and be codependent on anything. They want what make what's making them codependent. And that's you. The fact that they can't have you. The fact that they left paradise to go to this dead place where they don't talk and communicate and have connection with each other. Right. This person, they want to be, this, this person is addicted to that energy they felt with you. And that's all they want now. They don't want, they don't want the superficial shit. They don't want the appearances anymore. This person, this is somebody who ready to get their shit together, Scorpio, because they had one type of, one encounter with you. Like, this could have even been a one night stand. It says, there is so much fear inside me that I feel trapped. <clears throat> it says ship, cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need, progression, and arriving. Yeah, see, it says there is so much fear inside of me that I feel trapped. Now this person is cutting ties. They no longer feel trapped. Your love, your encounter, it freed them up. It made them want to sail. It made them want to go. It made them want to, you know, experience something better. Now they know that there's something better in life and love than just keeping up appearances so that other people feel comfortable. And this is your life. Clock. It says needing time cycles and takes time, time to heal progressing. Yeah. It's really about, it's really about the progression of um, this person realizing what love is. It's the connection that they had with you that's letting them know, look, time ticking, you know, tomorrow not promised to me. This is somebody who want to do it right, too. They want a divorce. They're, they're telling this person the truth. Yeah, look, death. Like, I'm dying to self daily. Like, I'm, 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 I'm ready now to go all in and work on myself, but that means leaving you behind. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Growth. And um, transform. What is dead is dead. So this this person is moving on. This person is dissolving this marriage. This person is working on themselves. This per person is trying to be a better person because of you, Scorpio. It says, I feel insecure and can't function here. The only time this person felt secure in themselves is around you. They felt this energy that they never felt before. This person doesn't even know what they experienced. They just know when they're with their wife, that's not what's going on. Yeah, blowing kisses. Unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness of love, affection return. Like this person truly feels your energy, your love language, how you feel about them, how you want to, you know, this, this person makes you excited about kissing somebody. 
excited about holding hands, excited about just connecting. This person don't have a connection with their wife. This, this is almost like a planned marriage or, you know, neither one of these people are feeling love. Then you got Cupid's arrow, of course. Scorpio showed this person a different side of Sears and it's like they can't forget it. And it's making them look within. It's making them soul search. It's making them want to change. It's making them want this in their life permanently, like period. Cupid's arrow says, have faith, love is coming, surprise institution stuck, struck by love. Yeah, this person was struck by love when it came to you, just period. The golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. Yeah, see, it's like, that's the energy of the wife. <laughs> that's what this person is moving away from. Just period. All right, and it says, I have a lot of heart chakra wounds that need healing before I can open myself up again. This person is going to get healed. Not not so much because they they want union with you, because some... Somehow this feels like it wasn't supposed to result in a relationship. It was supposed to put this person on their beaten path here. And I feel like that's what your Cupid's arrow did. It made this person want more for their life than just what other people want. Okay. I'm here and I paid my dues. Like this period. <laughs> yes, yeah, sword and rose. I paid my dues. Like, your, your person feel like, even in this marriage, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. I honored you as my wife, but now I, I want something more out of a spouse. It says, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. Yeah, this person realizes that this isn't, this, they want more. They, they've had a taste of more, and it didn't come from this wife. Yeah, healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. You're healing this. This person is healing this. This person don't want to be addicted to anything. They want to be addicted to their own life. Dating is here. It says, get back out there. Meeting someone now. Setting a date. Dating online here. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, maybe y'all do reconnect. Or maybe y'all don't. But this whole thing is about this person being able to find their purpose path. This is almost like you recalibrating this person. This person, you freed them up and they're freeing somebody else up because this isn't what they want. They want more. Under the bottom of the deck, twin flames, yin yang and balance, union and duality, complement, polar opposites. I feel like this person feel like that's you, but they know, you know, they have to do some type of healing before they're able to come towards you ever again with this energy, like period, because... I don't know if you left Scorpio high and dry and they didn't know that this, you don't know that they was married or what happened with this connection, but it really changed this person's life. This person could be your twin flame. Y'all could be coming back into union after this person completely heals because that's what they're doing. And I feel like they're completely healed because the date card is here. It's like they're, they're getting back out there now. I feel like you could even run into this person again, Scorpio. And like some of like a place where it was like what like you know it means something like you weren't even supposed to be in wherever you at where you're seeing this person again something something definitely about that here something definitely about the the location of you guys and something something about more than distance being between you guys is what I'm getting here. All right, let's clarify this energy. So we're clarifying a lot of problems are caused by abandonment issues with this person. Let's see what the messages are. Yeah, see, this person is pulling the King of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. This person is used to with the Six of Pentacles. This person is used to people walking away from them. And and you know, this person is 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 when they were in the six of pentacles energy, they didn't have people around them that were reciprocating that type of energy. No no, I feel like this person fell in love 
with somebody or no, I'll say I'll say that this is just a prearranged marriage. This is something that this person had to buy into. They never wanted to be married here. You know, they did the right thing. This could be somebody who married somebody because they were pregnant. Like they would have never been with this person otherwise or something like that. Or if it wasn't arranged or some shit like that. Like I feel like a lot of this person's problems stem from the fact that this marriage was something that they were like almost forced into. And they tried to honor that because, you know, of kids or whatever. They never saw a reason before now to deviate from this. They never knew it was something different out there. They never knew that people are actually married to people that they're connected to, that they love to see every day, that they love to talk to. Um, it says, I suffer from self-esteem issues and do not want people to judge me. I feel like in this marriage, I feel like this person, whoever this karmic is, they tell him everything they that they want to hear. Okay, the queen of swords is coming out in reverse. With you, it's more the energy of, you know, you not even, it's not about you telling them right from wrong. It's just your energy, Scorpio. It's your vibe. They don't feel like they're um, being controlled. They don't feel like somebody's lying or manipulating them. They know that this person is telling them what they want to hear. And they know that's why they've been stuck. The five of, five of wands is here. I feel like this person wants to fight for the connection with you, Scorpio. This person somehow wants to work their way back to you. Yeah, you could be seeing 555, five, five, which represents change. The five of pentacles. This person is, this marriage is over. This marriage has always been as cold as ice. It's never been fulfillment. It's never been contentment with this person. No chemistry. Nothing like that. This person couldn't grow to love this person. Couldn't have a respectable love. This person was just going through the motions. It says, there is so much fear inside me that I feel trapped. This person didn't want to disappoint her family, they family. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. But now this person, the fear is over. Why? Because it's been overcome by love. It's been overcome by hope. It's been overcome by, you know, this person getting a glimpse into something that made them feel something. Yeah, the hey man, this person is changing their perspective about love. This person knows that it's better out there and they want it. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. They don't mind working hard for it. I feel like this person is trying to find their way back to you. Whatever that means to them, I feel like that's what that's their quest. That's what they're doing. They're, they're ending this relationship. They're dissolving this marriage and they're coming back. Just period. All right. It says, I feel insecure and can't function. I feel like this person feels that way with, with you in absence. Like... The distance between y'all, this person, I feel like they always get this inspiration from you, Scorpio. It's not that you say what they want to hear, but you always seem to say the right things at the right time that are very uplifting. Like this person can tell it's not orchestrated. Yeah, the King of Cups, this person wants to be married to you. <laughs> they want to be your knight in shining armor. They want to protect you. Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. I can't make it up. This person going to spoil you rotten, Scorpio. If they ever make their way back to you, which I feel like they are, because I, I don't know what this is. It, it feels like distance between you, but it feels like something else. Maybe it was this marriage. Because I feel like this person feels as though, like, they know when they come back, when they come back, they, they can't be attached to anybody. And this person is really wondering, what is that going to feel like? Me coming here totally healed, totally detached from trauma and what people wanted me to look like in appearances to actually flowing with somebody who I had this connection with that I never had before. It's like this person is traveling. Look, the eight of wands, I'm telling you, no matter near nor far, this person is coming towards you, Scorpio. And they're coming correct. That's what I love about this energy. It says I have a lot of heart chakra wounds that need healing before I can open myself up to you. And that's what this person is doing. Before I can open myself up again. That's what this person is doing. They're healing, they're healing their heart chakra. <laughs> they're getting over this divorce in other words. This person is coming towards you whole, Scorpio. I love it. Yeah, the page of wands. 
They're just coming. They're coming to you, you know, with no ulterior motives. They've never experienced this. This is something they're new to. They don't mind you knowing that this person is okay with being vulnerable with you. Yes, the justice card. They know that they can trust you. They know you're about spirit and truth. Yeah, the lovers. I can't make this up. This person wants to solidify the connection, really. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is here. This person, this person often like thinks back on what he's been through because of allowing other people to feel, you know, comfortable in their lives. Like this person know what they gave up so that somebody else can be comfortable. They're no longer doing this. This Ten of Wands is done. They're no longer carrying the burden of being in a connection with somebody they don't love. Okay. Um, yeah. So a definite split. Clarify this Ten of Wands. And definitely they're coming towards you in this connection whole. Yeah, the Seven of Cups is coming out in the reverse. Since this person left this marriage, they're able to see clearly. They're able to actually adapt to somebody loving them or at least wanting to explore what that was that you had, that they had with you, Scorpio, at all costs. What I like about this divine masculine, because this is what he is. Yeah, look, the Eight of Wands, I knew it was going to come out. He's traveling towards you. What I love about this um, divine masculine is... This person realizes, like, even though they never experienced a connection with a divine feminine like you, Scorpio, it's something about this innate energy that they have that is, is like, leading them straight back to you. It's like they know what to do. They know what leads them back to this contract they want with you. They know they can't be married, for one. They know they have to have an open heart. They know their heart chakra has to be cleaned up and cleared. Like, they know that they can't come with you half-cocked. Because that's, that's not your energy. Um, I feel like this person is traveling a great distance. Or it feels like they came a long way just to be with you to, you know, solidify this connection. Because that's what this person wants. They want forever. They don't want girlfriend and boyfriend type energy. They want you to be theirs. This is a, this is a twin flame connection. This person wants to protect you. This person did everything right so, so that y'all relationship won't be interrupted anymore. Just period. What's the advice? And whoever this karmic person is, it's like, it's almost like they're glad it's over. It's like they, you know, they want to see if there's more out there too. Just period. Now that they, you know, this person is telling them, look, this ain't it for me. I, it's something better out there. They, they're looking for the same thing. Yeah. The emperor, there you go. Empress to the emperor. Your overall energy is just, you You know, you want your counterpart. You don't want anything that's that wasn't sent to uplift you, wasn't sent to ex inspire you or to make you better. Like, period. Yeah, the two of cups. King of swords. Two of cups. This is somebody you can be honest with. <laughs> the four of pentacles. This is a connection to hold on to. This is, this is a connection that guarantees you'll forget about the the heartache the three of swords is in reverse okay this this relationship yeah the ace of swords this relationship makes you forget about all hurt and pains this is the type of connection that you kind of you kind of you're kind of glad for what you went through because you know if you hadn't went through all that bullshit you wouldn't be able to appreciate Scorpio the way you're appreciating Scorpio. It wouldn't that thing wouldn't hit like it hit, in other words. Um Yeah, this this was life altering to this person. This person this person cleaned their shit up. Like just period. This 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 small connection, what people would think would be small, this brief, I'll say brief connection, with so much distance between you guys. Has just totally reconstructed this person and sent them down another path. Just period. On their journey. Alright Scorpio. If you're still with me. Like, subscribe. Join the membership. Let those ads play when you donate to the channel. Your name goes into a drawing for a chance to win a free personal with me. I love you guys. See you in the next video.